Welcome to the new NAES ILL system. This is a preview of how you'll place and fill an interlibrary loan request. Please note that this video is being recorded on September 10th, 2019, and there may be things that will be different in the live system by the time we are actually launched. This is being made in our test system. To place a request in the new system, I'm going to pretend that I work at the Lilac Public Library. This is the main screen that you'll come to for the library, and the first thing I do to place a request is I search for the title that I want to borrow. I would like to borrow Squids Will Be Squids. The search is going to look for things in the Union Catalog and on in the catalogs of the various libraries that this, we have set up as what's called Z targets. So it is looking at libraries all across the state to find what they hold and then it will pull back all of those records for me to choose from to place my interlibrary loan request. Remember this is a test system that we are working on hence it's a little slower than would be ideal. Okay, my search result has come back, and here is the title that I want to borrow, Squids Will Be Squids, Fresh Morals and Beastly Fables. I don't want a microform, I want a book. So I'm going to place, click on the button that says Request This Item. And the item that I want to borrow is a returnable. That means it's something I'm going to give back as opposed to a photocopy. So it automatically brings me to the returnable or loan screen. And what I need to fill out is I need to tell the system how I'm going to contact my patron. And this can be an actual contact thing or it can be a note. I'm going to put a note that tells me I'm going to text my patron when their stuff comes in. My patron's last name is Kaplan. So I'm going to put that in. I could put this other information, but I'm not going to because it isn't necessary. It already knows who I am. And so I think that's all I need. So I'm going to click Submit. And my transaction summary will display. This is request number 105, you will note. And that's all I need to do to place my request. So I say OK to clear that window. And then I am finished placing my request. Now all I have to do is wait for someone to fill it. And mere minutes later at the Birch Public Library, I have some time to go and check for incoming requests. So I go to the NAES ILL system and I log in. Case doesn't really matter. And now I can tell I'm logged in here. It tells me I'm at the Birch Public Library. I see I'm logged in as the ILL account here. And I have a little shortcut up here where you see that heart quick links. It'll take me to the request manager, which is where I'm going to go to see how many incoming requests I have, who they're from, and what I'm going to do about it. And the screen is divided up into various sections here. This is the borrower side. This is the lender side. And for this purpose, I'm going to check pending requests for me as a lender, or a potential lender at any rate. Hmm, I see here somebody has placed a request for squids will be squids. As it happened, I was just walking past that uh, part of the uh, library and saw it right there on the shelf. So I know we have that in. Let's go and see what this request is all about here. I see that the Lilac Public Library is asking for it. The status is still pending. If they uh, put any notes in there, I would see that, but I'm not seeing anything special there. Uh, there's the bibliographic summary there. Uh, the need by date is uh, still a month out. And everything looks plausible. Oh, here it has uh, filled in the van address for the library. So I could put in a little note here if I wanted to. And I'm going to go back to my previous screen here.
and see if I want to change the status on that. Oh, I know it's on the shelf. Why why people are good folk. And let's go and make that shipped. Now, by changing that status there, I haven't actually shipped it. I've got one more step to do, and that's right up here where it says submit. Now it disappears from my pending list. And that's all I have to do for this part of the request. Uh, but there is a bit more that I have to do uh, in the way of uh, getting the book ready to ship out on the van. And one thing this system lets me do is print a pick list, a pick slip, which will, here we go, print shipping labels. That's the term I'm looking for. And that was another one of those little quick links that I have, although there are other ways to get to this screen in the system. And here I can see items that I have marked as shipped and I haven't printed any labels for yet. And I see there's squids will be squids. And if I check that and then click format to print, here I see the uh, shipping slip with the uh, where it's going to on one side and where it's coming back to on the other side. And I can then use my browser's print options to go ahead and print that. Here we are back at the Lilac Public Library. This morning I found on my van delivery that I had received a copy of Squids Will Be Squids from the Birch Public Library. So I'm going to come to the ILL system here and do the processing that I need to do that to do to get that ready to give to my patron. I see here on the borrower side of my screen that something has been shipped to me. I have one item shipped, so when I click shipped, I can see what it is. And I see that it is, in fact, squids will be squids, request number 105, which matches what I have on the slip that came with the book in my van delivery. And this is for patron Kaplan. So I can check my local system and see who that is and let them know that their book is here. But meanwhile, I'm going to mark this as received. And then I'm going to submit that to go ahead and change the status of this request to received. I now see that I have a received request. So in my local system, I will notify my patron Kaplan, let her know that her book is here. She'll come in, she'll check it out, she'll enjoy it very much because it's a wonderful book. Then she'll bring it back in a few days, turn it back in, and I will be ready to uh, send it back to the library that has lent it to me. So all of that has now happened through the magic of video. And I am at my request manager screen again, and I have an item that has been received. So I'm going to click that and see what it is. And I'm going to change its status to returned. And I submit. And that is now returned. And my my little label that came with the book is still here in my file, so I can just flip it over and cross out my name on the slip and put the Birch Public Library sticking out of the top and put it on the van delivery, ready to go back to its owning library. So that completes my work for today. And it's a few days later here at the Birch Public Library, and the van has come, and in there I see a copy, my copy, of squids will be squids, and how happy I am to see it back here, back home again. I go to my staff dashboard, and on the lender side, under action items, I see I have a couple of requests pending. Okay, not unlike a few days ago, but I'm not going to deal with those right now. I want to get squids back on the shelf. So here I go to this highlighted uh, link that says returned, where I see I have one item returned. And there are squids will be squids, request number 105. 
and the status is currently returned, I click the down arrow and I choose the check-in option. And again, that's not enough to change the status. I need to remember to go up here and hit the submit button. But having done that, it disappeared from my returned items needing action and is down here counted as a complete. And so it's back to the shelf for Squids Will Be Squids and we're done. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of requesting and filling a request through the new NAES Interlibrary Loan System. If you have questions, please contact the NAES Help Desk at the number or the email showing on your screen. Thank you.